Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and this channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life. Now, yes, spring is upon us for most of the country here in Texas. It's warming up, it's gradually warming up. Last week we had some cold days, some hot days, but it's warming up now, she's warming up. So typically during this time, I clean my closet out. I'll take my winter clothes and push them in the bag or just kind of go through my closet. If there are things that I don't want, I take them out and I give them away to someone that could use them and kind of reorganize my closet. So as I was thinking about doing that, I decided I'd come up with a list of things in your wardrobe, things that may be in my wardrobe that are probably outdated that we kind of need to get rid of. And not only things that are outdated we need to get rid of, but things that we can replace those items with. So if you'd like to see what I think is probably outdated in your wardrobe and maybe in mine as well, then stay tuned now. Let's get started. Now the first item on the list is cold shoulder tops. Now I know these were very, very popular. It was a cross between an off the shoulder top and a tank top. They're very comfortable, look great on everyone, but I promise you they are outdated and they will date your entire look. So that's something we need to get rid of. I know you may like it. And let me just say, preface this whole video by saying, if I say something about an item that's in your closet that you love and you just cannot stand to get rid of, then do you, honey, put your shoes on, put your shirt on, put your pants on. If it makes you feel amazing, if it makes you feel fantastic and you love it, then keep it, keep it in your closet and wear it as often as you can because that inner glow is just gonna shine whenever you put it on, so just keep it. But we're gonna get back to those cold shoulder tops. They are outdated. Now, what you can replace those with is either a one shoulder top. They look fantastic. Spring is coming, you have that shoulder out. That is one of the last things that's gonna age on your body is your decolletage and it's gonna look pretty no matter what you have on. So that one shoulder is going to look fantastic on you. Also, an off the shoulder top it's gonna look amazing too. And they have those in various fabrics and shades. They have striped ones and solid colors ones. I think those look really, really pretty. And what's really nice about them is most of the time they'll hang down off your, uh, off your chest area and just kind of hang down and glaze your body. So if you have a couple of rolls that you, you're not trying to show everyone, they really do a great job of hiding that. And I think they look really, really pretty on just about every body type. The next item on the list are those long tunics that have like the lace at the bottom. Sometimes there are long tunics that kind of cover over your hips and they have lots and lots of flowers. And I think a lot of times ladies buy these tunics to try to hide what they perceive as flaws or just kind of paper bag everything so they don't want to see it or they want everybody else to see it. And what it actually does is make you look larger than you actually are. So my replacement for that is like a pullover tunic. And these pullover tunics are usually not made of stretchy fabric. They're usually like 100% cotton or a cotton linen blend. In the wintertime, they may be a wool blend and they look very, very nice. They look chic, they look elevated, they look really, really nice. You can get those with stripes, especially if you're getting the vertical stripes that'll make you look a lot slimmer and kind of draw your eye in and they're just beautiful and they're comfortable. If you don't want to do the pullover tunic, then you can also do a button down shirt, just a regular button down, whatever color or whatever fabric or whatever design suits you. My recommendation for that is to get one one size larger. So it's going to be a little larger, but it's not going to swallow your entire body. It's just going to glaze your curves and it's just gonna look really pretty. I love to see those button down blouses with a large statement necklace and a pair of cigarette pants and some flats, whether they're pointed toe or almond toe. I think that is a very, very classy and classic look for every lady. The next item on the list is peep toe heels. Now I know I have a pair in my closet in North Carolina that I'm gonna have to get rid of once I get there. And I know some of you ladies may have some and you just love them and they are comfortable, but they're out of style for sure. They've been out of style probably for the last couple of years. And the only reason I haven't gotten rid of mine is, again, I've been out of the country for the last five and a half years, but they're very dated right now. So to replace those, you can wear a full covered heel. 
Now, you don't necessarily have to wear a high heel. I personally like a three and a half to four inch heel when I buy my heels, but you can buy a kitten heel or like a two inch heel. And the toe part should either be fully covered or you can do an open toe or a strappy toe type shoe. And you can find those just about anywhere and they look just as amazing. They look sleek, they're on trend and they just have a more classic look to them. They have like a linen blend. You can get them in various colors. You can get them in silk, cotton, every color of the rainbow that you could possibly think of. You can find a closed toe shoe for summer. Now, if you don't like to wear heels at all, then you can do a flat. A pointed toe flat is definitely on trend and it's going to elongate your legs, especially if you get a new color flat. But I personally like a new, but you know, I love my color. So I would buy a color print or even you can do like a square, not a huge square toe, but just kind of, it's going to a point and the toe is cut off. So it's just a square up there. That's a very classic look as well. So get rid of those peep toe heels, ladies. The next item that's outdated that may be in your closet is a platform heel. Now I'm not talking about the platforms that are really on trend right now where the platform is under the foot and the heel is a chunky platform. Hold on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is not what I'm talking about. This is on trend like the 1970s. This, this is really on trend right now. So I'm not talking about these type of platforms where you have the platform here and a nice chunky heel. I'm talking about the heels that have the platform under the front of the shoe, but the back of the shoe, the heel itself is just tall. Those are pretty much outdated and not on trend anymore. So to replace those, you just buy your regular flat heels, whether they be pointed or an almond toe, Try to steer away from the rounded toe heels. Those are dated as well, but just get you a nice, whether it be leather or linen or silk heel. Right now they're doing the see-through plastic heels are, are trending. I, I don't have a pair of those. I do have some with some plastic on them, but not necessarily a plastic heel that just feels like it's just gonna be a no win. Like your feet are gonna start sweating, then the shoe is gonna stretch out. I don't understand how they maintain their shape, but I guess they do but just replace those platform heels with a regular pointed heel. You can get those in mesh as well, especially for spring, you'll be able to find those in mesh. And I do have a pair of those with leather and mesh and they're very, very comfortable. It allows a lot of air to get into your shoes so your feet are not sweating and, and they're really, really comfortable. Put her back. I'll wear you one day, sister. The next item on the list, and I'm sure this is not in most of your closets, but it may be in a few, and that is slip on sneakers. I saw a lady with these on recently, and I thought, they were not flattering at all. They, they are just not flattering. And they, they were sketchers, I think, and I, they just didn't look great with her outfit. And I know sometimes people will think maybe if they're older, if they're having problems getting their shoes on, or maybe you may have uh, arthritis or, or you may have an elderly parent that has trouble tying their shoes and maybe a slip on sneaker would be best. That in my opinion is really unsafe. So I don't feel like an elderly person should have on slip on sneaker at all. That just increases their risk for a fall. But as far as a regular slip on sneaker, they're just not, I don't think they've ever been on trend to be honest. And they're just very, very dating. So if you have slip on sneakers, you can replace those with sneakers that have Velcro. Now I know most of the sneakers you've probably seen that have Velcro across the top look like the ortho sneakers, like the sneakers that were people who have bad feet, but I did find two pair that I would actually wear myself. One is by Adidas. They're the regular Stan Smith Adidas. I had some of those a couple of years ago. Instead of a string, they have a Velcro. Those sneakers are timeless. I think it's really, really cute. And the other pair I found were Isabel Morant sneakers. Now, the, she's gonna cost you a pretty penny. They are expensive, but I like the look of these even better. I think it's a really, really nice look. The toe is like an almond toe. It just looks so sleek and elevated. I love it. Even though it has a Velcro on there, if I had to wear a pair of sneakers, if I had trouble tying my sneakers, those are the ones I would probably wear. The next item on the list is wedge sneakers. Now these have been out of style for a couple of years as well, but I have seen some people wearing these recently, but they are very, very dated and they're out of style. If you like that elevated look, so I think a lot of women were wearing those because it gave some extra height because the, the wedge was usually an inch 
to an inch and a half to two inches tall and it made you a little more taller. So that was really nice. They do have Converse sneakers, like the Converse look type sneakers. It has like, it looks like a inch to an inch and a half sole on the bottom. They're trending. They've been trending probably for the last year, year and a half. And I personally think those are cute, especially the green ones. I, I really like those. If I had to buy those, those are the ones I would buy. I would definitely wear them. I think they're fun and it's just, I don't know, they're just unique. I really like them. So if you like those wedge sneakers and you still want that extra height, if you want to be on trend and you want to be a more a little fresh and a little more modern, then try the Converse sneakers with the <sighs> platform heel. Nope, platform sole. Now that takes care of our side of the closet or our closet. I do have a couple of things if you have a husband that you could probably pull out of his closet as well. Look at, look. <laughs> no. Well, you, you don't have either of these in your closet. If you had, they'd be gone by now, I promise like you. Like some of my favorite shirts that's right. yeah. magically? Yeah, yes, exactly. After watching now, yeah. get rid of I've already gotten rid of everything I don't want in there. Hmm. I already got rid of it. Yeah, everything, yeah, it's gone. The first thing are those dad sandals. And they call them dad sandals. <laughs> they call them dad sandals for a reason. They just really, really age me. And I don't understand why they still wear those sandals. I think they are hideous. And Lord forbid to see them with a pair of dad sandals and a pair of socks. So a more modern, a more fresh version of the dad sandal is a pair of Chacos. Now they still have all the straps. The shoe will still stay on. If they don't like the strap around their toe, they have the one that just goes across their whole foot. Those look just as nice as well. They just don't look as aging as the dad sandal. So if you're cleaning your closet out and you look over and your husband has some stuff over there and he has some dad sandals, you can kind of try to pressure him into getting rid of those and getting a more updated, a more modern, fresh version of the dad sandal. You don't pressure, you just ditch. Yeah, ain't no, ain't no need talking about it because I have to wait till you go to work or leave do my business. Yeah. Yeah. I'm start dead. blocking the closet. <laughs> block you out. There's a, there's a, a toolbox in the garage. I, I know how to <laughs> use every tool in it, I promise you. The last thing on the list is from the your husband's side of the closet as well. And uh, every time I see this, it just makes me laugh on the inside just a little bit. And I automatically know that this man is at least 50 years old. He's probably between 50 and 60. And that is the jeans that the men have, they have, they've ironed them so many times with that crease down the front that the crease is actually faded. But I remember seeing men where they would take those jeans to the dry cleaners and they would get heavy starch. I mean, and you could see when they would take them off and they open them and they'd have, the jeans legs would be stuck together and they have to pull them apart to get them on. It, it, just the thought of it makes me laugh so hard. But if your husband has a pair of jeans that has a permanent crease down the front of the leg, that is probably faded by now because he's had those jeans probably for the last 20 or 25 years, um, I would recommend that you uh, try to talk, in, <laughs> talk him into getting rid of those. My husband's favorite pair of jeans are Levi's. Now he has several Levi's and they have different blends. You can find them with a 100% cotton blend, which aren't the most comfortable. But if you have a husband that's wearing those type of jeans, those are the ones that he's accustomed to and he'll probably be very comfortable in the 100% cotton Levi jeans. If not, you can find a cotton, and I can't remember some sort of elastane blend, that bends with them a little bit. Those are a lot more comfortable than 100% cotton. And the great thing about Levi's is you can purchase those based on your height and your waist. So you can get like a 52 inch waist and a 29 inch length. It varies throughout and they have a vast array of sizes. I think that is fantastic. So if your husband has those jeans in his closet, they're dating him and you need to get him some more. Pretty much it. Yeah, that's, that's it. Mm -hmm. Why are you laughing? Because I, I have to watch you now. No, they're all 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 of Ben's old jeans are gone. And half my favorite shirts. They weren't your favorite shirts. 
you didn't bother asking. Mm -mm. <laughs> I did let you keep that red shirt. Because you know we have. I let huge, you. Y'all should we'd see. Have to go get counseling if that's. Y'all should see that red shirt. It's precious to me. It's a, I'm finna go change the oil up under the car with a straw in my mouth. <laughs> Shirt is what that is. Well, that's it, family. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a comment in the comment section. Don't forget, if you're on a mobile phone, now to find the description page, you just hit the title of the video on your phone and it'll pull up and you just scroll up like this. Thank you so much for spending some of your valuable time with me. I greatly appreciate it and I want you to have a most blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.